Hey everybody, it's Alicia with Graceful Plants, and today we're repotting my bird's tail. So, he doesn't really need repotting. I'll be the first one to tell you that. He's fine and happy as I'll get out in this pot. However, I got this cute little purple planter at Klein's Greenhouse in Madison a while back. And I don't know why, I absolutely love Burroughs tails in purple pots. And I don't know, he just, he doesn't stand out in this pot to me. Does anyone else ever do that? Do you ever feel like that plant is really pretty, but it just, the planter isn't doing anything for it? Um, so yeah, we're gonna repot him. Uh, it's been a while since I've watered him. I've been kind of holding off watering him. You can kind of see that the bottom leaves on these guys are starting to wrinkle a little bit, so he's in desperate need of water. But I knew I was going to be repotting him, so I didn't want to water him because when they're fully watered, the leaves break off extremely easy. They just pop off like nothing. So I wanted to wait until he was a little on the drier side and the leaves didn't pop off as easily. You can kind of see over here, maybe a little bit. The last time I repotted him, uh, he was really fully watered and I broke off a lot of leaves, but he was in desperate need of repotting. So, you know, I didn't have the time to wait until he was dried out. So we're just gonna dig right in. We're going to probably not fit all of these plants into this new planter. So when I first started collecting, collecting house plants and succulents, the burrow's tail was, you know, at the top of my list. I just think they looked so nice. So they do have that powdery coating on them. So some of that coating is gonna come off while I'm touching him and repotting him, but that's okay, it'll come back. You can see a lot of these guys have little babies. If I can get that to focus. And if you do happen to knock some of the leaves off while you're replanting them, it's not a huge deal. You can try to propagate them, but burrow's tail have a really hard time propagating. It takes, they can do, you can do it, but it just takes such a long time for anything substantial to grow off of them because they're really tiny. There were a couple of little leaves in here that had broken off that I had just left in the pot the last time I planted them and they are growing roots so I'm probably just going to throw them back in on the top of the this new pot. And these guys are all coming out of the soil fairly easy because like I said he's in desperate need of water. And my soil is very well draining. I've got a lot of perlite, a lot of pumice in my soil because I've said before I'm a chronic overwaterer. So I like to make sure that my soil is very well draining because I don't want to drown my poor plants. And I honestly think my burrow's the burrow's tail is gonna be happier in this littler pot uh, because the drainage hole is a little bit bigger too. So I'll try to get in here as close as I can. But I'm just gonna be putting these in here, kind of just laying over the side of the pot, how they were in the last one. And again, if you ever break off any of these, it's not a big deal. You can either leave them in the pot to try to grow on their own. You can throw them into a propagation tray if you've got one, which if you've got succulents, I think everyone should have a propagation tray <laughs> because breakage happens. All right, so I just got done repotting my burrow's tail. I did go and give him a nice, good drink of water. So he's nice and saturated in there and we're gonna let him soak up some of that water. And then I might actually go through and top dress him with some decorative white rocks. Uh, once this water kind of soaks in and I can clean some of the soil off the bottom leaves in there, 
because it was really hard to repot him because the roots were so dry, the plants were dry, the soil was dry, so he was kind of just top heavy and kind of kept falling out of the pot. So I did get a little bit more soil on the bottom leaves than I would have liked, but it's okay. It's not a big deal. And I might actually move him out to the sun porch for the rest of the summer just because he is getting some new little babies on the top of him, if you can see that. But there he is. Do you guys have any plants that you had to repot just because he wasn't in the right planter that you didn't feel was right? Uh, let me know in the comments below. And otherwise, we'll see you in the next one. Bye!